Hey guys, so I'm having my first what I'll call testosterone freak out. Um, I look fine right now because I'm trying to hold it together for this video, but honestly, as of last night, I've been freaking out because I noticed something. Obviously, with testosterone, there are pros and cons. There are things that are going to change that you're going to like. There are things that are going to change that you're going to love. There are things that are, you're going to change, or that are going to change that you're going to hate. And then there are things that aren't going to change at all, which you may or may not be happy about. And this video is about a change that I hate. Honestly, I've had really only two changes that I can think of that I really don't like from uh, testosterone and one of them being acne, which I've talked about, uh, and the other is now my hair is thinning. I can't even like say I can't even say it without taking like a breath. I'm just mortified. Um, on my mom's side of the family, so when you take testosterone, or uh, when you're male. Uh, biologically, uh, chemically, hormonally, uh, any of those things, you, uh, your hair, the history of your hair, where you're, the future of your hair is taken from your mom's side of the family. So you basically look at the men on your mom's side of the family that are blood relatives, and there you go. Um... For me, some of them had a lot of hair. Others uh, have lost their hair. My dad, has, he's just receded, but he has, like, thick hair. Like, he's got plenty of hair there. And until yesterday, this must be really recent, because I really just internalized it and noticed yesterday, um, my hair is thinning. And it's, I know it's hard to see with the light right now, but I'm going to attempt to show you. So, like, you see how you can, like, see... I mean, in person, it's worse, but you can see my scalp a little bit. Okay, I've never been able to see my scalp. I've always had so much hair to the point where my hairdresser and then my barbers, they don't even know where all the hair comes from. They're, you know, at, at the end of, of my uh, session there, we look at the floor and there's hair everywhere. I I felt very lucky and, and to have hair like that and my hair has kind of been my vice like when I'm having a really bad day or whether I'm feeling really dysphoric or any number of those things if I just need my mood lifted I go and get my hair cut and it makes me feel so much better so in terms of you know just the way that I look it's like the acne bothers me, and particularly it's been really bad, but it's primarily because I'm eating dairy and I shouldn't be. So that's really my own fault. Uh, but with my hair, this really bothers me. Like, I'm really freaking out. I had kind of like a, a panic attack about it last night, and uh, I woke up this morning hoping that I was going to kind of forget or feel better about it. And it was kind of one of the first things that I thought about. And so, you know, as of last night, I kind of started to think, okay, what what am I going to do? What do I want to do about this? And it's a hard decision. Uh, I'm still not even 110% positive like, of what I want to do. But basically... Right now, I'm on 0.6 cc a week, split with 0.3 cc each time on Tuesday and then Thursday, so there's a day in between. Uh, and I take, my levels are, are high. They're at the very, they're definitely at the high range of normal. Um, it took a very long time to get a dose that makes me feel comfortable, gives me changes. Like, emotionally, I've been so much better, so... In a lot of ways, it's really hard for me to decide to lower my dose uh, because I took for, I mean, it took 
I think eight months for us to find the exact dose for me. I was spending a fortune on blood work and going to the endocrinologist, all these things I'm fighting over with insurance. And so to think about kind of going backwards and having to worry again um, about my levels, I mean, it's, it's, it's freaking me out. Um, I mean, from what I'm reading online, there's so just people say different things, you know, as to whether hair will grow back or get thicker. I mean, I already take 10,000 of biotin, so if anybody's going to write any comments or suggestions down below, please do, but know that I'm already taking 10,000 of biotin, and I really, uh, I can't take more biotin than that. Uh, my hair actually, for a really long time, was even thicker from the testosterone. So this is kind of taking me by surprise, which I think is definitely part of why I'm freaking out. Um, I mean, I can, I can, I'm going to find a new endocrinologist here and get my levels checked, definitely. I'm going to ask them if they have any suggestions. I know that there are medications you can take to slow down the process, at least, um, and, you know, get shampoos and creams and all sorts of things that help to, uh, you know, keep your hair and grow, maybe even grow hair back. So, I mean, it's hard for me to know as to whether, like, I've technically lost hair. I do know that I've been shedding, and I know that I've talked about that a little bit on here before, but uh, it had gotten better, and now it's been getting worse. So I'm losing, like, little quantities of hair, but not not really like losing hair, you know what I mean? At most people shed hair because your hair is alive and it dies. Um, so then it falls out. So I don't really know. I can't seem to get a hairstyle going that makes me feel comfortable about it. Um, it like also continues here at the side and it's worse here at the back, which is where it usually begins. So yeah, I'm freaking out. Any suggestions, recommendations, tips, advice, knowledge, please put it below. Anything to help me uh, get in the right direction or to, you know, calm me down would be awesome because I'm freaking out. And as much as I'm happy with the facial hair growth and even in this, because I'm in the light right now, you can see that there's so much blonde hair even on the sides of my face, but... Um, yeah, hair in my head, and uh, I've also had like a weird loss of hair on my legs, uh, which you'll learn more about when I finally get up my California video. So yeah, thanks for watching, for listening, and advance for the advice. Uh, hopefully it doesn't get any worse, so talk to you later.